Oh, never mind. Oh, uh. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Jack here, and today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you all how you guys can make a um, open and close button GY. But um, this time we're going to be using tweening GYs, or this time we're going to be tweening the GY. Uh, so last video I did, uh, how, um, I did a video on how to make it just, how to make an open and close GY just by just clicking buttons. And that was like really just like, like right there. It wasn't like smooth, like it just slowly faded out and then faded away and like faded in and faded out. No, it, like it's not like that. So today we're gonna be showing you all how you guys can do that. Uh, well, so when you click this button, the frame instead of just will pop up, it'll just it'll slide downwards and go into the middle of the screen or wherever you want it to go. So first of all, what you guys are gonna to want to do is first of all insert a starter GUI or no a screen GUI, and you're gonna rename this screen GUI to oh. Um, you're going to rename this GUI to uh, open and open, open close GUI like we did in the last video. Uh, and then we're going to insert a frame inside of this. We're going to customize it a little bit. Just make it like that. And then going to make a text button we're going to put it right here and then border size color pixel zero um it's going to say open and we're going to make the font garment no skeefy no source hands bold yes i like that um, then what we're gonna do is we're going to rename this button to open, like we did in the last video. Then we're gonna, we're basically just gonna do exactly what we did in the last video. So we're just going to be making a bunch of these, or yeah, we're just going to be editing this and stuff. Uh, we're gonna go over to text button. Uh, we could make the border size color pixel zero. And then we could go to text scaled and we could make the text say X. And and then this that's how we exit out of the uh screen or the screen the uh borders UI or er, not the border UI the frame. And we're going to rename this um to close. We're gonna rename that button to close. We're gonna put that button inside the frame, we're gonna drag it up to the top corner. And there we go. We have our little frame. Uh, we can make the background color green. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Now what we're gonna do is get to the scripting. So we're gonna insert um, a local script inside of our. Um, one second. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, do something, guys. One second. I just need to. Uh, uh, Okay, let's get to the scripting. So, what we're gonna, okay, let me roll my gaming chair. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in uh, script dot parent dot mouse button one click. So we're basically saying that once the open button is clicked, then this will happen. Colon connect function. And then this will happen. We're gonna type in script dot parent dot parent dot frame colon tween position u d i m two dot new. I'm gonna open bracket close bracket and then inside of these open bracket and close brackets, we're going to um, make um, you're going to make the frame wherever you want on screen. I'm gonna make it in the middle. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get the position. It's gonna be.
be okay. So I'm gonna copy that. Go back to our local script. Paste that in. Let's go uh, back to here. Copy the Y position. Go here. Okay. Now once we got the position, now we're gonna do this. We're gonna put comma space, and we're gonna put um quote a uh, string quotation marks or speech marks whatever you call it and you're gonna call it in comma space sign comma space one <sighs> okay so basically what it's gonna do is once we click um the open button the frame will go all the way down here and yeah then what we're gonna do is close out of that script and we're gonna insert a local script inside of uh, the, um, we're gonna insert a local script inside of the close button. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in um, script.parent.mouse button, one click, colon connect function. Um, and basically what this does is it's going to say if this button gets clicked, then the frame will go back up here. So it's going to say, so if that button gets clicked, we're going to do um, script dot parent dot parent colon tween position. So script dot parent dot parent, we're basically saying frame um, tween position. Uh, u d i n t dot new open bracket close bracket then what we're gonna do is got get the frame we're gonna put it all the way up here gonna go all the way up here uh, let's go ahead and do that bar um alrighty we want it is we're gonna copy this position, go into our local script, control V, and then we're gonna go back to our frame, copy the position again, copy and paste, comma space in, comma space sign, comma space one. Alrighty, so that's basically all you have to do, guys. Now let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, if this doesn't work, it's probably because I have a problem with uh, tweening. It should work for you guys. Um, if it doesn't, we'll try to check if I did anything wrong on the output. So let's go over here. You can see it a little bit, but that's fine. And as you guys can see, it works. It goes down right over here. And if we click the X button, it'll go right up there. It kind of just goes like diagonal though. I'm gonna fix that, but yeah. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did uh, like this video, please smash the like button with your nose. Uh, and let's see if we, we could get these this video and my other video uh, my other video on this to um, 200 likes. So that way, um, yeah, so let's try to get this video to 200 likes, guys. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.